Breaking news. Boko Haram surrender should be encouraged to end insurgency. Hamed Lawa. Hello, my wonderful people. In case you're not aware, that's the Senate president. And this is his mindset. I'll quickly tell you what has happened recently. Now in Buhari State, there is a particular bandit who has surrendered four times. If you have not been following us, please go on Apple Live Media on that video and hear for yourself. This very man now is the one asking the people to be contributing money for him. He they, 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 they tells them he's repentant today. He goes back, comes back again, goes back, come back. This is the fourth time. And the new thing he's doing now in the particular community, he tells them to contribute money and send to him. Guess what? The government are aware. They know where he lives. He has businesses in town. He has buses that run, you know, run to and fro in the town, you know. So he has that business bus that does that. They know him, but nothing is being done. I want to just propose a proposal to you and let you know that Nigerian government is aware who these bandits are, who they, and they don't want to end it because of the, the, the agreement Buhari had with them. In 2015, according to some repentant bandits who have come to expose what has happened, said Buhari brought them into the country to cause mayhem in case he was not declared the winner. When he won, he was surprised, but did nothing about them going back. Hence, what we have today. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Senate President Ahmed Lawa has said that reports of Boko Haram fighting fighters coming out of their trenches to surrender to Nigerian army troops is a welcome development and should be encouraged. But in Southeast, should not be encouraged. Okay? <clears throat> Lawe stated this in Meduguri, the Bornu state capital, at the palace of the Shaku of Bornu, Abubakar, on Monday. He was in the state in company of Yobe state governor Malamboni on a condolence visit to the monarch who lost his eldest son and also family members of former foreign affairs minister Amb Ambassador Babagana Kimberley over the death of his mother-in-law. The Bono State Governor Professor Zolo and his deputy Husman were also on ground to play host to the visitors at the residence as well as the Shaknu of Bono of Bono Palace. The Senate President seized the opportunity of the condolence visit to reassure the people and the part of that country that the federal government will continue to work with the state authorities to ensure restoration of peace and stability in the region. We have come to condole with you over the death of your elder brother that occurred recently. May his soul rest in peace. This is a loss not only to you, your Highness, but also to us all. This is why we have come and we, demand, we deem it fit and necessary to come and condole with you and your family and the good people of Bono State. I want to take this opportunity to mention that the federal government will continue to work with Bono State Governor government to ensure there is restoration of peace and stability in the state. The recent surrender of Buharam element is a good development for our security in this country. Personally, I believe that the federal government must work with the Bono state government and other states in this part of the country to ensure those who have received pardon continue to allow others to come in. We need to encourage them and do everything to make them comfortable so that they can keep surrendering. So this is the kind of mindset and ideology they possess. These people, the, you want to encourage them. This is where they bring them in. They give them food, free house. So why would you not do Is that business not very lucrative? You do it for a while. You get ransom. Then you come back again. You are being rewarded handsomely. You are being rewarded very well. Okay? Uh, you are given a house. You are given stipends by the government every month. Most of all, you get employment with the Nigerian army. Okay, where you are being told what to do and how to go about and, you know, uh, carry out atrocities all around. You see this deceit we continue to do to ourselves, to tell ourselves that um, and the people are surrendering. Listen, we are deceiving ourselves. Like I earlier reiterated to you, it was the uh, Castina state governor who was saying that this very Boko Haram guy, this very one we are talking about, one of the leaders of the PACs, 
you know, has done the repentance program four times. Now, this is a silence deceit by Buhari to make Nigerians feel that he's doing something worthwhile. Okay, it's a silent deceit by Buhari and his administration. And funny enough, they all share in the ideology. So why is this same repentant program not being extended? Hope, I'm talking to you. Why have you not suggested it to your people so that they will not be killing people's children, sons and daughters? Why has the governor of Imo State not suggested this same very program that is going on in the north? After all, what is good for the goose is good for the gangas. How come those ones who are killing people, those ones who are committing all forms of atrocities, yes, are being given the opportunity to repent in one area, the same country, why others in another area are being killed? You know, uh, anyone that is caught, we don't know where they are. Nobody knows, nobody knows their whereabouts. They are being whisked away and made to suffer. Both the innocent and the guilty both the innocent you heard me well both the innocent and the guilty what happened recently a young man that the mother was sick about 24 years of age a young man grown yeah the, the mother was ill he came back from work you know and, and it's not even a proper job and they said ah your mom is ill please can you go and get medication and because he's a good son about 7 p.m he said okay wore his shoe or sander and said okay let him go get the medication from the nearest pharmacy that was the least and the last time they saw him and the parents went to report to police imagine a mother that was ill before how all of a sudden she'll become well imagine you know so that that, that uh, you know tension was there and everything all of a sudden they said they found their repent they found them some a, a, a ipob or esm members that were committing atrocity and the young man was among the people and the parents were like, no, even the neighbors, everybody said no. But guess what? We don't even know about their whereabouts up until now. So they just speak innocent people. This is the one you know. What about other innocent people? They just speak innocent people here and there. Any young man that look like any, maybe the soldier does not like you. He will tell them that you are IPOB member. You came with your people. You want to. And guess what? There is no verification. Is your word against his word, and guess what? They already hated. So when you look at it, for the north, there is repentant bandit program. Yes, why for the south? They should kill them and they should die. They deserve. I mean, excuse me. How do we? How do we even reconcile all these things? And how did we even get here in the first place? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Don't allow anyone intimidate you. Bye.